Can you become resistant to Botox? The answer is yes, but it's probably rarer than most people think. Now, resistance basically means you develop an antibody to a component of the active molecule. Now, the actual molecule botulinum toxin comes wrapped in an envelope of other molecules that are not part of the active component. And in fact, one brand, Bocature, have actually removed those stabilizing proteins and the product works well. So some of the resistance, some people say, is to do with a, the antibody picking up um, activity and responding to these supporting proteins rather than the active part of the botulinum toxin. And this might mean that if you switch brands, you get efficacy back. Now, this isn't, I don't believe, currently backed up with a lot of science, but it's an, it's an interesting idea. The resistance to Botox that's a real problem is when you're, you develop an antibody to the active component of the botulinum toxin molecule. And that means the antibodies will stick to that molecule before it has a chance to do anything um, on the nerve, which means you don't get an effect. Um, there's something in between which is a, a dulled effect, and I'm not actually sure how that works, but there does seem to be a small proportion of people who get a short length of time out of a treatment. And it might be for a similar mechanism, but some of the products are working and some isn't. Sometimes all you need is a higher dose, um, but quite often it ends up in none of the products working. I've certainly had a small number of patients who just don't respond to any of the type A botulinum toxins. And unfortunately that's quite sad and you have to look at other means to treat them because it's fairly futile adding more and more in those people who are truly resistant. But the data suggests that those truly resistant people are a much smaller number than you would think and that actually most people probably just need a little bit more. Um, but you need to have an open, honest discussion with your patients that they may be resistant as soon as possible. And it's also worth factoring in that um, it might be that you need to take into account the cost of trying and discuss that at the earliest stage possible so that you, you don't feel as a practitioner that you don't want to persist and find the right solution for this patient because it racks up, as we all know, it's an expensive product and it costs a lot to try and fail. Um, so you both need to be signed up to that uncertainty at the beginning if you think there's a chance the patient is resistant and doesn't just need a bit more.